Um, there we go. You gotta left click and hatch. Oh, that's cool. That's a neat animation. It's you. Oh, oh hey there. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Did it die? Did I kill it? What's going on, y'all? It's Doc Stenko. And welcome to my solo modded series. Hey, y'all. The point of this series is to, you know, do like a community involvement thing. So, essentially, if y'all have anything that y'all recommend or y'all want to see get checked out, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to get it added and do a playthrough with it. So, we did just get some good news. Um, basically, with the uh, update coming soon, we'll be able to transfer maps. So, the only mod I'm holding off on are the map mods. Once we are able to transfer the characters, then... Oh, it's go time, y'all. <laughs> well, all right. So, that's enough of me jibber-jabbering. Quick YouTube plug. If you like this content, then do me a favor. Hit that like button. And if you're not already, consider subscribing. I made my New Year's resolution, y'all. You gotta try to get to a thousand subscribers. Subscribers. Let me talk right. <laughs> well, all right, y'all. That's enough jibber-jabbering. Let's get it. All right. So... I think what I'm going to focus on today is trying to get a Moro Raptor. And there's quite a few things we have to craft. Like, it's a pretty in-depth mod. <laughs> and essentially we need some crystal. So, I say we head over to this little mountain over here where there's usually a Giga. And see what we can get. Definitely going to have to lead it off. But, in the meantime, while we're making our way there... Doc has been getting a lot of crashes and bugs and whatever you want to call it. Essentially, with the uh, server play, my server series, I can't even log on to my own daggum server. So, when it comes to content, I might have to end up slowing down here. I've got enough to probably get through next week, but we'll see. <laughs> and eventually, the, well, not eventually. Essentially, that might end up helping us, though, because Doc made some upgrades. I'm going to keep that a surprise until it arrives. So, yeah. Just a heads up. I might have enough right now to get us through. If not, Doc's going to have to slow it down or readjust the schedule a little bit. Alright, there's a car char. You know, I still have not tamed one of those things. Let's see. Can we... This looks safe right here. Go ahead and get some stamina. Try to see if we can... Get it to jump off the mountain. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a bunch of raptors too. And oh crap! The thing I have the spyglass mod on. Question is, how am I gonna be able to tell if I'm leaving you off or not? <laughs> oh, good old fog. I like it. It adds nice detail to the game, but I hate it because of this reason right here. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to pass anytime soon. Let's see. Oh my goodness. What is this? Um, maybe if I can get you, I don't know. <laughs> There you go. Keep going. Just keep going that way. <laughs> there we go. I'll see if I can lead you off right there. Yeah, that might be in the plans. I'm going to have to tame one of these. Probably don't need one with the uh, Indominus Rex, but... Eee, you got me. You bit my booty. Twice. <laughs> there we go. We'll be safe for a little bit now but yeah i might tame one just just because i never have get rid of all of you oh goodness Ooh, you don't want to go down yeah that's right you better run away punk <laughs> all right looks like we're good to go um so yeah Basically, goal of today is to try to get at least one more raptor. Um, and their, uh, what's it called, whatever you want to call it, structures to 
be able to make one. They're pretty expensive. Like, really expensive. I should have everything else. Crystal is the last thing that I think I need. So, yeah. Then we go ahead and collect up basically just about everything here. My, uh, my Pteranodon should be able to carry it, so... Let's go ahead and get everything they got. Goodbye, Raptor Claws. I don't know. I love this event. I might be that dude that keeps his Christmas lights up all year round. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Alright. That should be good enough. I'll leave that there. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and get you. Let's see. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Not today. Alright, y'all. I'll, uh, I'll head back to base. Alright, real quick, I did want to show y'all kind of a little cheesy trick. It's extremely cheesy. So with the cryopod mod, uh, the Paleori's cryopod mod, um, it has a setting to where essentially if you don't have the requirements to craft a cryopod and you use the gun or the terminal and you shoot one of the dinos, it gives you a free cryopod. So when it comes to my mutations and my breeding and stuff, um, basically I'm getting a bunch of empty cryopods that I have no use for. They're just taking up space. So I'm going to grinder free resources. So yeah, there you go, guys. A little cheesy trick for you. All right. I think that got like picked up basically immediately. By, uh, automated arc. Um, yep. There it is. <laughs> Go and do a manual sort. And got some of you. Uh, do I have anything else? Okay. So with that crystal, I did make the, um, uh, what's it called? Refrigerator. Cool. Go and put some of you in there. Nice. So yeah, the refrigerator for automated art. Just like on uh, superstructures, you could put everything in there, essentially. But, here we go. This is the uh, first mod, or first structure for the uh, Indominal Rexus to be able to, you know, get them yourselves. So it looks like I'm missing some more cementing paste and polymer, which I'm going to need for almost everything else. Um, yeah, so I'll get that going. I think I have everything I need now. So I did craft uh, a few more things, but I ran out of cementing paste and actually spark powder. So yeah, this should be the last thing that we need. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and put you away. Cool. Oh yeah, I still got those breeding. <laughs> Infinite polymer. So cool, yeah. I mean, that's all there is to it, guys. You just start off with making these, and then, um, well, I can't say that's all there is to it. I still don't know what's left to it. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, that's big. Um, okay. I'll we'll put you right there. And put you try to put it in order that they had crafting. Put you right there. Uh, oh, that's big too. No, we'll do this for now. I might end up making a, um, what's it called? Separate structure for all this stuff. Yeah, we'll see. Essentially, we're going to need two Endoraptors, two Indominus Rexes. But... Alright, so how does this work? You need the power cells, so that's another thing you have to craft from the first structure that we were in. Turn you on. Oh, that's not that long. Um, okay. Alright, cool. So, looks like... I'm gonna assume that we get the petri dishes from that last one. 
we'll go in here and we'll make the, um, you know. And then, okay, so we get the eggs and stuff from here. And then they go in here and this hatches the eggs. So what I have been reading is those only hatch the eggs that you create. So, um, what's it called? The ones that, it also said that the ones that you, uh, breed don't go in there. They can be hatched normally. So in my head, that means mutations. <laughs> this is going to be the mutation series, y'all. But that is if these don't turn out like max mutations just from the raptor eggs. Alrighty. So I put the raptor eggs in there. Oh, that's cool. Nice little, uh... <laughs> I'm so tired I can't even think of the word. Aesthetic? Uh, am I supposed to do something here? Oh, there we go. So it's like a passive thing. Passive crafting. Alright. Um, okay, so essentially we need the genomes. DNA vial. Okay, so we need a Moro Rex and Moro Raptor for that one. Or Raptor. Mm, we need Moro Raptor for that one. Fertilized Raptor, Moro Raptor genome. So, Moro Raptor vial. <laughs> I'm learning, guys. This is my first time using this. Um, and I could I could go out and do it the crazy way with the Trank machine gun. But I wanted to be able to show this mod off in full, so... Let's do it. Okay, so we need 75. And pop you in here. So it is a little slow. Um, as far as I can tell, you can't just, uh, pump up the speeds like with automated art. Maybe in the any settings? I'm not sure. Right now, we'll just go with how it is, um, base. Alright, so that's 60. So it looks like one egg gets you uh, five at a time. So that's not too bad, especially since raptors are, you know, they're easy to get. Um, kind of looks like you're going to have to go the hard route with killing the uh, Mora Rex if you're going to do it this way. So it might be easier just to, I don't know, kill the... Uh, Endoraptors, as you see them, get their uh, things. Actually, that's a good point. I'm guessing maybe trophies? Because with one of the vials, it looked like uh, that it required... Uh, what's it called? It said it required Theri, Carno, Rex, Giga, and something else. So I'm guessing you put the trophies in there to get their Petri dishes. Petri dishes. <laughs> Alright, cool. So that's one of those vials. So slow. Oh my goodness. And yeah, those batteries, they do not last long. So. Oh, and if you turn it off, it just automatically uses it. Oh well, that's too easy. So yeah, I would uh, recommend don't do it the way I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, so I've got the Raptor DNA vial. Uh, let's put you in here. Yeah, there we go. So Raptor, Theri, Carno, Giga, Rex. So to me, that makes it sound like you get their trophies. So obviously like the Alpha Carno, and I don't know if it's the base trophy for the rest. I mean, the Giga's 
only the Giga Heart, same with the Theory of the Claws, so... Maybe just like the T-Rex arms? So, more Raptor. Uh, oh man. <laughs> so I need to go back to the automated arc to get that uh, turned off to where it's not taking stuff from out of here. All right, Doc had to take a phone call real quick. <laughs> So let's go ahead and grab this stuff out and see what we can get from it. Okay. Let's uh, go over to you and put you in there. See, uh, see what all we get. You know, as we wait forever. <laughs> uh, I could speed this up, but I don't. I don't know. It's It takes a bit, but it doesn't take that much to where I need to do that. Okay, so yeah, same thing. So you still get five Petri dishes per trophy. So, yeah. You know what I might do? I think I'll do this. <laughs> but first... Ooh, yeah, so... I don't think we're gonna have enough to get the uh, Moro Raptor DNA vial. <laughs> Sorry, brain tired. Talking hurts. Um, maybe I don't know. We got the Moro Rex. I wonder. How much is it the same? Because it's a raptor. Okay, so we should have enough to do uh, the Moro Rex. Which, if we have the raptor vial, which I still need to get out. Where are you at? Um, that's the egg for the Moro Rex. Moro Rex genome. Cool. Okay, so was it you? Nope. Okay, so we just need... Okay, that's cool, so that'll be easy. With as many as we've been killing. To make the Rex, we just need the one vial. And then the Rex egg. And we can get the, uh... The Moro Rex egg. Um... Okay, so definitely don't have enough for all of you. I'm trying to think. Oh, okay. I think we might be in business. So let's go ahead and take you out. Put you into you. Go ahead and pop one in here since I messed up and turned you off. It's you crafting. Oh, and essentially what I was going to say is for these parts where it's taking a little bit. <laughs> I might just do a small little cut and bring you guys back, but I think we're cooking now. I don't think we need to do that. So I'll just talk your ears off and hopefully keep you entertained. <laughs> this is a learning curve. I've never used this mod and I'm trying to do it legit. Give me some credit. <laughs> All right. ahead and see if we can get that raptor vial and actually let's go ahead and take these off the uh, the pool uh, oh I did make an anthill y'all I didn't show you all that so essentially just put bug repellent and some ants come out and free cotton well I guess not free you have to use the bug repellent that's why I made the little uh, crop plots that y'all seen Go ahead and take all of you, and take you while we're at it. I might need to adjust those settings though, because I like my, when it comes to babies, I like that to be maxed out, like the whole mating thing. 
Same thing with the crops. I like to be able to get a lot of crops. But we can do that at a later date. All right, so let's go over to you. Pop you in here. And so we can make the Rex. We're not looking for that today though. Or are we? Hmm. I mean, we can go around. I'm just playing. Can't, because we don't have a Rex egg. But. And that should be uh, easy to do. Okay. So more Raptor, more Rex. Go ahead and pop you in here. We have everything. Why can't I craft you? Is it automatic? Oh, duh. <laughs> Probably need to turn you on. And there we go. Oh yeah, we are in business. So this is the Gen 1, it seems, but the Gen 2 egg, oh, this is going to take forever. The Gen 2 egg says that you can uh, do the color regions. So let's go ahead and get one of you. scared for a second but yeah this one I'm definitely gonna cut because that is taking forever I'll bring you guys right back all right it didn't seem like it would take that long but that was a full three minutes <laughs> and just sitting here that, that kind of feels like a lifetime <laughs> oh yeah we are in business go ahead and get you crafted well that didn't take long that's good Test you out. Go ahead and pop one of you in. Turn you on. And, oh yeah. So, what do we do? <laughs> I'm trying to read it. I don't know what to do. Come on now, do your thing. Um, there we go. You gotta left click and hatch. Oh, that's cool. It's a neat animation. Get you. Oh, oh hey there. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Did it die? Did I kill it? That is cool. Um, hopefully I didn't kill it. So, another thing too, I think I've shown you all this already. You can change it to where if you have a baby, then once you throw it out, it'll be an adult. So that's what I've got on it. So let's look at this bad boy and see what all he can do. Excited. Let's get over here in the light. Come on out, I choose you. <laughs> okay, so that's what I got. I don't know if it's different for everybody else, but that is cool looking. That is really cool looking. Mm, some pretty decent stats. But it did not get the mutations. Okay, so that's good to know. So we don't have to do that with the Rexes. Maybe. I don't know if that affected the, the level that it came out. Hmm. This might be a trial and error type thing. But cool. It's got natural armor. So kind of just, just like the uh, Moro Rex. Oh, I need water. And I have a canteen. Duh. <laughs> oh, look at this. I love how they added the, uh, the commands to the side. Ooh. This is cool. Oh, it's doing a little healing buff. That's gonna be useful. 
especially for what uh, <laughs> I have planned. Not for this one. So, ooh, night vision. So yeah, I'm gonna try to see, uh, not today, probably the next episode. I'm gonna try to see if we can get these things like super mutated. Ooh, that looks terrifying. If that was on the ground and if it was just me. Okay, so that left, uh, or the zoom in thing you see, that's just, that's not part of the mod, that's part of the controls. Essentially, when you're on a mount, if you hold, for me, if you hold left control, you can zoom in and out to on your mount to, you know, get to your preferred distance. I scared off. This is pretty cool. That might, uh, well, no, it's not going to close the spyglass. Might as well just use a spyglass since uh, it tells the stats. But if you didn't have that mod on, that would be able to help in order to see where things are at. All right. <laughs> you don't see me. You don't see me. Okay, so different attacks. I can jump really high. Dear Lord. down on all fours. I wonder if there's a difference. You have to do some test on that. And no time like the present. Well hey there. Okay, I mean not gonna lie, I was expecting a little bit more damage than that. Uh, not on its head of course, but <laughs> on the body. Still a beast. Let's see. Go ahead and pump you in melee. <laughs> melee. I think 7,000 health will be good enough. I might just kill stuff around the island for this one. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Come on. I don't know if I could take on both of you, actually. Y'all might actually kill me if I do. Let's do... Hmm. Might be able to do you. Oh, that's cool. So... Ew, that still hurts you, though. So if you're on your two your two legs, then it does a vertical jump. On all four, it does like the what is it? Caprasuchus? The smaller crocodile jump to where you leap forward. Ooh, I wonder if they can grab you. Oh, that probably would have been bad. <laughs> if I was on a regular mount when I was fighting them. some piggies. Okay. It's getting there. Alright, I mean, overall, this is still pretty cool. Oh, it's not... It's pretty fast on its two legs, too. Okay, so it does do more damage on its two legs. Hmm. That is nice to know. Hey there. Pretty sure I can take you out. You don't have anybody near you. Nice. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that <laughs> I aggroed the Bronto. Alright. This is pretty cool. Well, alright, y'all. I think that's gonna be it for today. I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting a little bit more, but you know, if you consider everything, like my settings are boosted high, so I think this would fit in with normal people's settings, but yeah. 
and we're gonna have to test it out with the Rexes on the Moro Rex to see if the um, you know the mutations affect the level or not because it definitely doesn't add the mutations to the Indoraptor. But that's too easy. We try. We can try on the next episode to see if we can do some mutations. But yeah, hey, I hope y'all enjoyed this, and if you did, do me a favor. Hit that like button, and if you're not already, consider subscribing. Well, all right, y'all. I think we know what we're going to do next time. So until then, this is Doc Stanko. Take Motrin and drink water.